obviously adding these things onto a page are going to create some great texture. I am going to start off by adding some decoupage glue. I'm using an old paintbrush and I'm generously putting it on here. I use this one primarily for decoupage. It really gets down in these corrugated board grooves perfectly. So here we go with that. All right, now I am not gonna just flatten this out and put it down. I'm gonna kind of arrange it and it's already sticking, which is just perfect, so that it is looking distressed, a little vintage. I absolutely adore that look. So I'm gonna just add underneath here. There's nothing, there's no right way to do this. I am all about, let's just put it down. Now I'm gonna go over the top with my decoupage glue and kind of work it into the roots just a little bit in some of the spots. This I'm going to leave alone. I like these little pieces that are kind of hanging off. The decoupage glue is gonna dry um, clear, so I'm not gonna have to worry about this looking like matted up with anything. It's gonna look just perfect on this page. All right. Just kind of moving and crinkling. This is gonna be a 12 by 12 layout I do on this corrugated board. And so I can put things down on top of this once it dries. My next thing I'm going to add is my burlap. And since it's gonna go down on top, again, generous amounts of your decoupage glue. gonna go down and it feels really good it feels like you're just painting and it's nice and smooth and slick it's like a special little form of therapy so I'm gonna put this down and I'm going to add this on just like this now if I am not afraid of getting messy and having my hands sticky and all that kind of stuff some people get really freaked out by that but I'm gonna just really use my hands and I'm gonna push this down into the grooves using my fingers. The glue, um, since the decoupage will, is very malleable, so it makes it pretty simple to push it down into those grooves and not tear it apart, and make a mess, as you can see. But again, be generous with it. We're over the top with our burlap. Now I do kind of like the sides to be able to stick up a little bit. That's my extra little piece of texture. So we have levels of texture here. All right, here's my last piece of cheesecloth. And I'm kind of working with my rule of thirds here. And I'm going to kind of, I have my layers here and this is gonna go on top. So we have plenty on there, but again, Let's really generously add our decoupage glue. This goes right on top. This one I'm gonna kind of have like it's just fallen on top of there naturally, right? Because that's what happens. We just throw all this stuff on the page and it's just gotten there naturally. Or at least that's what we want it to look, right? I'm gonna have this corner piece. Have it there. Now it's gonna look, you probably are going, oh my gosh, this is such a mess. Such a disastrous mess. What are you doing here, Amy? but really once it dries, it's just gonna look like it was meant to be this way. That's the awesome part of this decoupage glue. I've always felt like the decoupage glue feels great on your hands too. It feels like you should be using it as some kind of treatment. 
All right, I am done with the decoupaging and really I like to make sure that I blend things in really well. So I am going to also use a little bit of gesso. I use this for nearly everything. So I'm going to really get a generous amount on my gesso brush here. And I am going to blendy blend blender sets. I am not, however, going all the way down. Now, to make it look like it's kind of meant to be that way, I just feather it out lightly to the sides. And look, we're almost done. This will probably take a little bit of time to dry. It will, um, you could heat it with your heat gun and that would be perfectly fine but um, it will make that burlap will kind of curl up just a little bit and that's okay especially if you want it that way I'm kind of a believer that there are no right and wrongs I need a new container of my gesso out here that would be helpful I have three hanging them around I want to use it all up blendy 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 and there we go. I probably will hit heat this with my heat gun when I get inside and really get to work on my layout. I cannot wait to show you the finished product and I hope you learned a little bit from this today. If you get a chance, show me what you have done with your layout or whatever you may be making. You can make it with, with a canvas. That would be great too. Thanks so much for joining me today.